Hi, how are you? It's Fiona O'Donnell here today talking about mindfulness. And, you know, I'm not sure if you've had a chance to do any of the, the practices on SoundCloud that I have or not. Um, maybe you had a chance to do a little eating meditation practice this week. Um, I suppose today I want to just talk about stress and, you know, the effect it's having on our lives and why are we getting so stressed? Why are we often feeling so anxious and fearful that, you know, there's something not quite right, you know, and maybe we're not even feeling depressed or, you know, really, really scared, but often we're going around with this very subtle feeling that something isn't quite right. And the mind can be very, very busy in these moments. I'd like to ask you to use your imagination for a few moments. Okay, so maybe imagining, you know, there's some lions or tigers in the wild and there's a herd of wild gazelles or zebras or something like that. Okay, so the, the lions are, you know, getting ready for their kill and they're approaching the wild gazelles. So the gazelles are just grazing, they're relaxing, chilling out and their whole system is in that kind of parasympathetic nervous system. Okay, so it's at rest and digest. But when they see the threat, they move into that sympathetic nervous system. Okay, that stress response. And this gives them a chance, you know, for the heart to increase, for muscles to get activated, and allows them to run, to flee, okay? It's kind of quicker than thinking. It just all connects in, the amygdala gets alarmed, and they go into movement. So the lion either, you know, races after them and gets the kill, or they escape for the day. And what the gazelles do after the threat is gone, they do a little shake and then they go back to grazing, okay? So they realize the threat is over and they go back to grazing. However, we're not going back to grazing. So for us, maybe it's not the threat of being eaten by a lion, but it's, it's you know, it might be as small as sending an email to the wrong person in work. Maybe you're mulling over a conversation you had. Maybe somebody looked at you a bit funny today and you're thinking, oh God, did I do something wrong? So this is actually activating that fight or flight system in our body and we're not doing a little shake to get rid of it. So that cortisol, that adrenaline is staying in our system. So by using mindfulness, we can actually open up to noticing what's arising instead of just being on automatic pilot and not aware. Okay, so a simple technique when we notice this kind of maybe stress response is to see how it is to take a moment to come to the breath. Just seeing if we can notice the body breathing for these moments. And maybe even expanding out to the whole body as we sit or stand here, feeling the feet against the floor, maybe even wriggling the toes. And then moving up along the feet, the lower legs, the upper legs, the torso, the arms and hands, and the head. So inviting you over the next few days, when you do notice a moment of stress or that kind of reactivity, see how it is to, to try my three-step breathing space, which is on SoundCloud. Step one, noticing how am I feeling in this moment. Step two, coming to the breath for a few breaths. And step three, widening out to the whole body. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you.